There's no the past. My precious past. My boyhood is like I have had open heart surgery to remove my very heart itself without giving me any anesthesia. They may as well have tied me down to the operating table and then open heart surgery on me and they cut down the tree at 1410 Farm Road. I always had hope that one day I'd make it as a rapper and be able to buy this house with the tree before they could cut them down. But now, even if I had bought this house, they cut down the tree. They cut down the tree that I planted when I was in fourth grade. The plum tree in the backyard. My trails that I made in 1994, back in the days and back in the past when I believed in Jesus who loved me unconditionally. They cut down the woods. They, they, for, they, they, they deforested woods that were over 300 year, 200 years old. And I can never get them back. Why? Why? I'm, go, I'm fixing to go out riding my bike, riding into town. I should be excited. But I know. And when I measure, take some videos, measure arms to the girl, and my arms are going to be shorter, not longer. That makes me want to kill myself. That makes me want to kill myself. And I know that these girls are not going to think I'm a good looking guy. And I know that half these businesses, because I'm so different from everybody else, if I went into them, they'd say, you're not allowed in here. Whereas if I was a good looking guy, they would say, let him in. The girls like to look at him. Or the girls would say, let him in anyways. Because they would, it would make their job easier to look at somebody who's a good looking guy. If I was a good looking guy, which I am not aware of. But I've lost it all. I've lost any hope. My only hope is that I can make the money to get the house and regrow the trees that have been cut down to get it like it used to be. They cut all the branches off the trees. That, that house looked like a beautiful, that yard looked most glorious. All the other yard, all the other houses, just normal like yards, but this yard at 1410 Farmate Road, this yard was a peaceful yard. Well, it, it was a, a beautiful yard, peaceful, wonderful. Now it's just like all the other yards. Bland, humdrum. N nothing, nothing that stands out. It makes you want, nothing that grabs your heart. It makes you want to stay. America's doomed. The judgment of God is fixing to fall upon America. Why can I, if I, if I, why can't, why can't I sit in the punch of the chair and be asked the pre questions as if I was running for president to have them fired at me hard and fast, hard and mercilessly for me to answer. And, if, and then because I had a stroke, because I'm compromised mentally, because the answer will come to me more completely in a day or two, why can't I be allowed to come back in two days and re-answer the questions? I believe you will see some answers to the questions that will blow your mind. And if not, I need to find out if I'm just a legend in my own mind. But I see America going to pot. It, nobody out there sees it. Nobody cares about Hillary's compromising top, top secret classified information that could give the enemy our enemies just what they need to know to destroy us. Nobody cares. 
and Donald Trump flip-flopping on the issues just like a professional politician telling us what, what we want to hear and then when he gets in office nothing's going to change but he's going to do what he wants to do oh no the police are here to take me to jail probably the doorbell rung my ass is going to fucking jail nobody sees it it's just the 80's America would be up in arms but America cares only a day about getting drunk and we get the booty call instant, gratif instant gratification all this sex that's why I believe marriage should be recognized as only between one man and one woman because we're encouraging the pursuit of instant gratification through sex and that's making oh who cares about working with long term goals for long term happiness when we can get happiness right now happiness in the cans fuck our rocks off every weekend and that's all that matters and the rest the country can go bankrupt just as long as it don't go bankrupt in, in our lifetime but it is America's doom people America is doomed if we don't get Newt Gingrich Rush Limbaugh I put my finger in your face and I lay the blame at your feet you stupid for evil to triumph all good people must do is nothing and you Newt Gingrich and Rush Limbaugh you would be good leaders and you did not run for president and look who filled the power back to you I hate you for not running for president. And all you good people not making any noise if there are if there are any good people left in America. I hate you too for not standing up against this tide of utter wickedness of Hillary and Donald Trump and his arrogance and his narcissism and Hillary Clinton's hypocrisy and duplicity and utter cronyism. If I was to kill myself, I would hope the judgment would rain down all these like fire and brimstone for this. I resent what you've done, or rather not done, and make this a better country, because now I'll never get to live my dream out of being a good looking guy. I never have any hope of becoming a rapper because it's going to be too late. I never owned a house at 1410 Farm Rent Road. As if owning it now would matter because the trees have been gut cut down and gutted. I'm afraid to say I hate you, God, because knowing what I know, He'll get angry with me. God loved me with a stern love. He doesn't love me but the love I desperately need from him. I wish he did. Might makes right. That's the universe you re we, li we live in. Listen to my stroke speech. None, none of you all give me, give me to my gofundme.com slash I underscore have underscore lost underscore hope so I can get my a speech back and ability to rap and my mental capacity back for the nation go belly up. You met you let me think for one minute that I can get myself and still go to heaven. And that you let me think for one minute that i ne I never will become the good looking guy and get the longer arm to cosmetic surgery. I'm out of here. This is an air pistol. But. I'm not full of hot air when I say I could take a bottle of sleeping pills. And kill myself. Bang. That's all I am. Full of hot air. A nobody. A little shot trying to be a big shot that keeps on shooting. And missing the fucking target.